Joining us now is Silke Jano, a former battalion chief with the Youngstown Fire Department, who is also a hazardous materials specialist. So how are you reading this? Just how serious is this? Well, anytime you have a potential of a containment failure, it's serious. Uh, the, the cars that these uh, vinyl chlorides are carried in are what's called a DOT-111. They're an unpressurized vehicle. Uh, anything that's in there is carried at ambient pressure. Now, as heat is impinged upon this stuff, there are pop-off valves that'll help blow off some of the pressure that's caused by the product heating up inside of it. At some point, you reach a breakover point where the uh, pop-off valve will not sufficiently release enough pressure and you start heating the inside of the, uh, the tanker and the product that's in the tanker. Eventually, it reaches a boiling point and you have what's called a blevy, which is a boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion. And that'll rip the tank apart and that'll cause the shrapnel to fly in all directions. The problem that you have with that is, if that tanker happens to be in the middle of a lot of other vinyl chloride tankers, that could rupture those tankers and cause, you know, kind of a domino effect of all the other tankers. When that stuff releases, the vinyl chloride will release, it'll catch fire, and as it burns, it's gonna give off, you know, the, uh, the hydrogen chlorides and the phosgenes. So I have a question. We kind of talked a little bit about this earlier. Do you believe the one mile zone, do you think that's enough room if something were to happen? I'm not exactly sure of the topography of the place, but if, you know, if, if the topography is not ideal, I would go to a mile and a half, just to be sure. Uh, I've seen uh, pictures of tanker cars that have blevied and they've pitched parts a mile and a half away. So You, you were know. talking about some of these other gases too and how dangerous they can be. Uh, Talk about that a little bit. If it does blow, there'll be gases in the air, correct? Yeah, you'll have some gases. As the, the, uh, the vinyl chloride starts to burn, it'll burn off into either the hydrogen uh, chloride or the phosgene. The phosgene is the, the worst of the bunch. It actually was uh, a nerve gas, a CG uh, agent used during World War I to kill you know, soldiers in the foxholes. It's an asphyxiant. It gets into your lungs. Uh, you'll actually drown in your own fluids because it'll create an acid that your lungs trying to neutralize. Um, the hydrogen uh, chloride is just as bad too. It's going to get into your lungs and it's going to cause some problems. Um, Norfolk Southern did release that there was also butyl I I acrylate. acrylate as well as benzene residue. Can what what are the dangers associated with those? Uh, the butyl acrylate is kind of similar to that of the vinyl chlorides. It's extremely flammable. However, unlike the um, the vinyl and the uh, the hydrogen chlorides and the phosgenes they're they're not as it's not as deadly. Phosgene is dangerous at like three parts per millionth. So if you can imagine this room surrounded by a million ping pong balls, if only three of them got into the room, you'd you'd be in trouble. So it's not as bad, but it is still uh, bad. It's not a cancer-causing agent like vinyl chlorides and the other ones. And the benzene, if it's residual, sometimes having a little bit of benzene left in a container is worse than having a full container because of the vapors and it could potentially explode What's as the well. best case scenario out of this? Best case scenario is they cool the temperatures down. I'm sure they're monitoring it with uh, thermal imaging cameras and standoff thermometers um, and I'm sure that's probably what has precipitated their you know, advisement that things have changed. They've noticed temperature gradient change. Uh, cooling it off, uh, it, it falls below the, uh, the explosion temperature and uh, you know, they're, they're able to get it under control. Worst case, it blows. Yep. So Kajano, thanks for joining us. We truly Thank appreciate you. it. Thanks for yeah, coming Thanks so much for being thanks. with us tonight.